Hey yo, what is up knights, Aegis Rick here, talking about a topic I was very recently requested to cover, and that is, what are some good items to purchase in the Sarah shop? It's a real good question, honestly, and I'm sure something like this would be invaluable to new players trying to get ahead in DFO with the Sarah shop, and let me tell you, there are a lot of traps in there. Just keep in mind that this is a newbie's guide of what items I think are good to start out with and to avoid. This does not apply to veterans who already know everything, but without further ado, let's talk about the Sarah shop. For the sake of thoroughness, let me explain really quickly what the Sarah shop is. The Sarah shop is DFO's version of a premium cash shop. Every MMO has one, it's not really a new concept. Sarah is DFO's premium currency, only available to those who purchase it with real money. Aside from the initial creation of the Sarah shop and server-wide PvP tournaments, we have not gotten Sarah aside from purchasing. The conversion rate of Sarah is one US dollar to every 100 Sarah. The items that you generally can purchase are not always rounded numbers, and you will very often have some leftover change between transactions. Now maybe you're watching this video as a completely free-to-play user, to which I say most of these items have no relevance at all to you, since they are for the most part untradeable. The exception is the limited edition packages, which we'll get to, but those are tradable and thus you can get a lot of these items by trading for one of these packages. Aside from this, you'll have to wait for an event, which may sound kind of hopeless, but keep in mind that we get new content updates and events every two weeks. We've been showered with free content since the game has come out you'll be fine. Now, I don't want this video to be all bloated with stuff that you probably don't want to hear, but let me just remind you a few quick tips that I feel are extremely important to know about Sarah beforehand. You can't purchase Sarah right away. The details are pretty finicky at best, but I've heard from a good source that you'll need to have at least one character at level 85 with their second awakening. Whenever you use Sarah, you were refunded a portion of that Sarah into mileage, which is also in the Sarah shop here, but it will be a topic for another day. Purchasing Sarah via the website will give you a bonus amount of Sarah depending on the denomination that you choose. Personally, I'd only purchase it through there for this very reason. Alternatively, you can redeem Karma Coin cards, which DFO accepts. In this way, you can purchase codes from other trustworthy players in game using gold. As a new player, it's not recommended, but if you're desperate for a particular Sarah item and you don't have the means of buying it yourself, this is the best way that I got for you. Remember that Sarah is based off the US dollar. Example: If you have a Canadian Karma Coin card, the amount of redeemable Sarah that's on the card will be less than an American card. Of the same value due to the conversion of Canadian dollars to US dollars. Lastly, regional laws still apply. So if you live in Europe, you will be charged a VAC for Sarah purchases. Americans do not have to pay anything extra. And with all the groundwork covered, let's actually jump into the Sarah shop, shall we? Let's start our discussion by actually telling you what not to purchase as a new player. I like calling them noob traps because they are often marketed as something that they are not. Now, I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't ever purchase these items because there's a damn lot of good reasons why you might. But this is a newbie's guide, remember. Avoid them if you're new. The easiest way to get baited is to be in the hot new tab, which is kind of like the storefront of DFO's Sarah shop. They don't explain what these items are. You just see this flashy third rare avatar here, for instance, and just go, man, I want to buy that. What you don't realize is that you aren't purchasing these avatars. You are purchasing a single component required to have a chance to obtain a single piece of that avatar. And hell, probably not of the color of your choosing either. Bind cubes are the first newbie trap to avoid. I don't want to go into the details of what rare avatars are and how to get them. I've already done so in my gear fundamentals guide, go check it out. But as a newbie, if it has anything to do with rare avatars, stay away dude, it's absolutely not worth it for you. The second noob trap is the lost treasure. Every month we have a new rotation of lost treasure items, which is DFO's version of a gacha system. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a loot box, which you'll get something out of it, generally healing items and at a low likelihood, you might get this month's rotation of items which are displayed here. Key note on the maybe part here. Most likely you won't get anything and quite frankly as a newbie, these items will not help you in the ways that they would a veteran. To open the lost treasure, you need skeleton keys, three for every lost treasure. And as you can see, they are quite expensive. You get skeleton keys rarely as drops in dungeons, so it's not like you can't test your luck without having to throw money at the game to do so. This one's a bit harder to explain, but one noob trap is buying items that are normally obtained in packages. For instance, clone avatars and creatures. Clone avatars are very useful, but they are almost 100% going to be bundled into a special avatar package even if by force. It doesn't make sense to buy them individually at this exorbitant price when you are absolutely going to get one in a package which is a lot more value oriented. The existing creature tab is a relic of a forgotten age of DFO. They aren't that expensive, so it's not the end of the world if you bought one already, but I'd say all of these pets, aside from maybe three or so, are completely 
completely unusable. Instead, packages very often have creatures with them, and they are going to be the ones that you want since they are statted accordingly. You can even buy them in the auction hall directly with gold if you don't want to buy the packages. The last noob trap that I really must emphasize is the Neo Premium contract located in the Premium tab. It looks like this and is a blue. Now, do not confuse this with the Neo Premium Plus contract, which as you will soon see, I will highly suggest purchasing, but the regular blue version is a noob trap. You might think it's good because it's cheaper and provides some decent benefits, no doubt, but aside from it being a vastly inferior version with a lot less perks in comparison to the Plus contract, it's missing one key component self-sustainability. The plus contract can be self-sustained by regular dungeon play in a way that regular Neo Premium contract cannot. We'll get back to that, but what I'm saying here is, as long as you're active in the game, you can rack up infinite Neo Premium Plus contract, whereas you're going to have to keep purchasing the regular contract over and over. Don't be baited by its lower price tag. You will easily pay much more than a Neo Premium Plus contract owner, no doubt. Of course, I think there are a lot more items that are not that helpful for a newbie, but those are the key ones. Now let's talk about the items that I do think are worth the Sarah. And again, keep in mind, I personally purchase a lot more than this, but as a newbie, here are the ones I think are the most value oriented for you. We'll come back to the Neo Premium Plus contract, but first off, let's discuss limited edition packages. I'm going to say across the board, all of them are absolutely worth it to purchase if the items inside are relevant to you. The reason I say this is because they are massively discounted in comparison to purchasing the items individually. Let's use the Awakened Ones package for Lancer as an example. I filled my cart as best as I could with equivalent items, give or take. As you can see, I'm making huge savings of about 10 bucks just for buying the limited edition package. Why the hell would you buy the individual pieces if you didn't need to? What's even more is that the inventory and safe expansions are items that you can't really get in that form in the normal Sarah shop. These expand your safe or inventory regardless of their current rank, which if you were to buy them normally could be a $5 value if your safe is already highly expanded, since the price of safe upgrades normally gets higher and higher. So long story short, if you want any of the items inside, a limited edition package deal is the most cost efficient item to buy and is highly recommended from me. The reason that I wanted to talk about packages first is that if any of the items that I'm about to mention show up in a limited edition package, they will certainly be discounted if purchased indirectly via a package instead. Now, contrary to the normal Neo Premium contract, which again is a noob trap, the Neo Premium Plus contract is highly recommended. In fact, as a newbie, you may have the option to buy a contract with straight up gold, which is a nice way to just try it out. This item is phenomenal. It has a lot of things a newbie would definitely benefit from. Extra EXP rates, a ton more FP to play more in a single day, and even a rental item that scales with your level and is slightly upgraded. You won't have to worry about a weapon at all while you're leveling. All perks that I might add are exceptionally useful even for a veteran such as myself, let alone a brand new player. The key thing to note about the Neo Premium Plus contract is that, again, it can be self-sustained if you play consistently. Look how much Neo Premium Plus that I have, and I've never purchased it directly before. That's because if you have Neo Premium Plus, you will have a chance of dropping the Neo Premium token in Dungeon, which when used has a chance of generating a another week of Neo Premium Plus. This is the feature that has allowed me to rack up this much Neo Premium Plus. So again, Neo Premium Contract is a noob trap, whereas I find the Neo Premium Plus Contract as downright essential for a new player if you want some quick and easy perks for your account. And if I didn't mention it, yes, these features do apply to your entire account. The next item I think is very useful for players is the inventory and safe expansions. You are allotted two inventory expansions and I believe 13 safe expansions per character. Both types of expansions get more and more expensive the higher that you purchase. For instance, the safe expansion starts off cheap at 30 and 60 Sarah respectively, but near the higher plus 10 and 11 expansions, it will be four bucks each time. Personally, I say get what's going to be useful for you, but in this case I say get both inventory expansions, which will not only increase how many items that you can carry on your person, but it'll also increase your weight limit as well. The safe expansions I say get at your own discretion, but get at least one upgrade because that removes the weight limit of your safe, allowing you to put in any items that you want into it. After that, it's up to your needs. The last thing I want to say about this is that events give out items related to these types of expansions all the time, and they could do different things. Some items, for instance, instantly upgrade your safe to the silver ranking, which is the equivalent of buying two safe upgrades. If you did upgrade already, while others may upgrade your safe regardless of its current upgrade level, which could potentially save you a lot of Sarah. So again, read the item's effects 
carefully. One item that I think often gets overlooked is your skin avatar. It shows up in the avatar page here, but the odd thing is that we've almost never been granted a skin avatar via event. Well, that is until now, but again, that's three years in the making. Why get this skin though? On top of it being pretty cheap, it also gives you 3% reduction on physical or magical attacks, depending on your choosing. But the main reason that I suggest getting it is because there is often an item that is given in packages called the Emblem Generator. It will endow your skin avatar with two multicolored emblem slots, a feature that is not available unless you actually have a skin. If you're taking a character seriously, you're gonna need these emblem slots at some point. The last item I think a newbie is going to want is a Faithful Owl for 90 Sarah. What this item does is allow you to access your safe from outside of Syria's room, whether it be in town somewhere or even in dungeon. This item is an amazingly good feature as you can imagine, allowing you to access gold when you need it, put away items when you're overweight, and just overall saving a ton of time on your end from having to go back to Syria's room. For 90 Sarah, this feature is absolutely invaluable. And some people still are not aware that this item is permanent. You buy it one time and it last forever. No use count, it's basically a permanent feature. This is different from the ones that you buy from Gabe however, which yes can be bought with gold but are a one time use item. Save yourself the hassle and get this permanent one that can be used forever. It is however a character bound item so it must be repurchased for every character that you intend to use it on. And that guys is all the items I think a noob should be privy to. Everything else it's up to you I guess, I don't want to be responsible for everything that you do, but I do want to say that there are a lot of items in here that could be helpful. Kaleido boxes can re-roll the variable stats on your gear, potentially making your gear stronger. Contracts makes things easier for you, both in letting you wear stronger gear and getting skills earlier than you should. And don't get me wrong, these items are helpful, but they can very often be obtained via regular play and events. In other words, they wouldn't be a primary focus as a newbie, but you can make decisions on your own. And with that guys, I hope you have an idea of this Sarah shop. And remember, purchase responsibly. And I will catch you nights <laughs> later.